Hi, my name is Jonathan Doe. I'm a senior associate editor at the Journal of Management Studies. Welcome to another edition of JMS Reflections. I'm here today to talk to you about how to develop and identify an interesting research question. And in my view, there are a couple different ways of going about that. One is to find a gap or something missing in the literature. That could be something related to theory, related to empirics or data, or some combination. And that's something that most of us have been doing since our doctoral programs when we did literature reviews and tried to make a contribution to an existing stream of literature. But today I want to talk to you about another way to identify and develop an interesting research question, and that is through phenomenon. So looking at the world around us and observing and thinking about what's happening in organizations, in management, and in society. Now, there are so many interesting and even challenging things going on in the world at the macro level. If we think about what some have called the global grand challenges of climate change or immigration or data privacy at the meso level, so things related to industry reconfiguration, changes in the way that organizations relate to each other and relate to society, or at the micro level, when we think about changes in the workplace itself, teams, leadership, different ways of doing business. So how do we identify an interesting phenomenon-based research question? Well, I think as organizational theorists, we're naturally curious about the things that happen around us and we try to make sense of them. And so in our everyday lives, we are experiencing organizations and management in our universities. We are observing and interacting with different types of organizations, be they government agencies, maybe the schools that our kids go to. On holiday, we're exposed sometimes to different cultural approaches to organizations and management and different ways of doing business and interacting. So in our everyday lives or in our holidays or in our work lives, it seems to me we have countless ways of observing and thinking about the phenomenon around us and trying to develop an interesting research question around them. Now, of course, that's just the first step, identifying the research question. And if, of course, it needs to be a research question that is answerable through research. So it may be that some research questions developed from phenomenon are just outside the scope of our ability to inform them through our research. But I'm quite convinced that by thinking and reflecting on the real world issues and challenges that we experience and observe, we can come up with some really exciting, novel, interesting, and compelling research questions. And so I would encourage you to think about the phenomenon, think about what you're seeing and learning uh, in your everyday lives and how that might relate to and contribute to your research. So again, I'm Jonathan Doe, a Senior Associate Editor at Journal of Management Studies, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this session of GMS Reflections. Please look at our whole catalog. We've got others coming online uh, uh, on a whole range of topics. Thanks for watching and listening.